Today's Two Minutes of Science is all about a very simple do-it-yourself remote control robot. This kit was purchased from a mail order house from China and as you'll see the instructions are in Chinese but it does have pictures enough to let us build the robot without speaking Chinese or being able to read it. Now, the pretty pictures are pretty self-explanatory but I'll go through it step by step so you can see how to put it together. The first step in the assembly is to mount the motor and the gear, the shaft, that will connect to the leg units so that it can walk. Next there's some infrastructure pieces that help ensure that the leg units themselves are restricted to just the movements that are necessary in order to like make the legs walk so it won't fall over. Uh, these have to be done carefully but if you just look at the pictures and count the holes over where things go in it's pretty easy to assemble. Somewhere along before you're finished you need to test the motor operation to make sure that the drivers work without supporting weight to make sure that all of the gears and flow components move within the limits that's set by the infrastructure pieces. After that it's just a matter of mounting the electronics for the remote control portion of it. Those are all pre-made so you don't have to do a lot of soldering other than connecting the battery leads. Uh, then you need to make sure that the antennas are firmly connected to the correct pieces. Then putting on these great big feet is the next step. The trick is to make it so that the feet are tight enough so that they don't interfere with each other. But it's a